Today's video is going to be dedicated to Joe from Just Joe Aesthetics. Um, woke up this morning to the news of him passing. He is a 30-year-old YouTuber, fitness YouTuber. Came on the scene a few years ago. Uh, has been gaining crazy traction. This guy, I haven't had the, I literally didn't get the pleasure of meeting him. In my DMs from last night, we're, we're chatting 18 hours ago. Like, literally 18 hours ago. And I don't wanna show you guys all this combo, but he's, last night he, he goes, by the way, I saw a video of yours. Um, are you having a, a TRT clinic or someone looking over your blood work? I go, yes, I am. I just got that. that, that I responded literally like last night or the earliest morning. Um, and I, I can tell this dude's a good guy and not just from his content or from the energy he brings, but he, I, I, I'm pretty confident he's referring to the video of me talking about my 10 goals where I'm in that red hoodie and I was like all messed up and Joe's, he, he was a big advocate, you know, he's super on his health, he's in shape, healthy, like check, he checks his blood work, like very conscious and knowledgeable of everything he's putting into his body. And I can only assume that he's checking in to be sure like I'm good, that I'm, I'm taking care of myself, right? So it's wild, like he was, we had plans of him coming to Alphaland, stopping by, he's here in the US um, and yeah. He died of, and from to the best we know, um, with his girlfriend, literally laying in bed, you know, had a brain an, uh, an aneurysm, and just like that, that's it. So this video is dedicated to Joe, um, to his family, to his girlfriend, to his friends, which a lot of my I'm texting like man, a lot of my friends right now that did get the chance to, you know, know him and everybody has nothing but just like the dude was he was he was a he was a sick guy man and it could have been anybody, um, which is I think why in this scenario is so like it's wild. It's uh really, really wild. So don't waste your and Joe, if I have one thing to say to you, your family, or your like, to, actually just to you, man, you did it. You you left something really impactful behind. So. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Nothing says I have BB Pro like a lunchbox cooler. Okay, I got so many meals, nowhere to put them in. So, got myself a lunchbox yeah. big enough to fit 225 grams of protein a day. Okay, strap. This is expensive, wasn't it? Was that part of the thing? How did we literally, she ordered, she ordered the Yeti backpack just to compare the quality and construction of the Yeti backpack versus her, our backpacks. I didn't know they made backpacks. Yeah, I didn't know they made backpacks. Yeah, me neither. That's why I was like, let me check this out. It's a big lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my meals. I literally, I, I took four meals to Alphaland. Have I eaten them on proper timing? But I can't remember if I did cards this morning or not. A little bit. How's it going? Soft stretch. Tell me how much that was though. Too much. Like three hundred Hundreds hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Like three hundred dollars. Like why? I can't wait to return this. It's not that cute. It's not cute. The thing you have to understand about Heidi and I is like if something's very expensive, it's, it's an item that we want to make, are interested in potentially making one day, or it's called R and D. We literally return like most of all the stuff that we give. It's not, the cost doesn't matter because we want to see what it's about. See if we can take anything away from it. Remember it, photo, maybe send it if we need to, then we keep it and whatever, but none of it's like personal. You know what I mean? Hey Alexa. Oh, never mind. I really don't like that Alexa thing. It, it, I really listen, right? I, well, I say, if you need to adjust the volume, it's like so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Dad! He always walks by me in the gym. Dad! Hey! Hi! What's up, Heidi? Hi, Tuesday. Are you about to work out right now? Yeah. Oh. What's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, what's up? Everyone's freaking out. A week from Monday? A week from Monday. What, what's the actual date for here? Here's some, Five, uh, tell them, tell them a little, a little pitch here, Savannah. So what's going on here? Save your money, July 10th through 12th, 5 a.m. to midnight, be at Alphaland. Sample sale going down. What day again, one more time? July, July 10th. Which is a what, Monday? Tuesday? Monday. Monday. 5 a.m. Be here. What's your favorite? Give me three pieces. Show three pieces there. Is this all the samples here? This isn't that much. We got more. Trust me, we got way more. Woo! Stuff like this. This is 101. Oh my gosh. 101. Oh, I love that one. There's another, uh, oh, oh, wait. Dude, that one's so good. This one. Oof. This one, small athlete on the back. Oh, the puffer, maybe a puffer right there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Hurts I, my soul. So I love a puffer. Oh, oh man. Are you not doing this? Not that, it, not that, it, maybe not. Maybe we will, maybe we won't, you don't know. Oh. What's the price? How's it gonna kind of quick rundown of how it's gonna work? For samples, it's gonna be a little different than um, lightly used clothes. Hoodies will range from like 30 to 50 bucks. Joggers will range from like 20 to 40 bucks. And then shirts will range from like 10 to 20 bucks. Oh, yeah. so, yeah. Amazing. You're gonna get a ton of stuff for not a lot of money. And they're one of ones, so only they'll hear it out for them. Nothing's gonna go online, sorry. But that's a perk of being here and training here at Alpha. So, all right. Oh. All right, let me find. How's you, Mariah? That looks amazing. Um, it looks great on all three of them. And, and, and this is our time, like black and white. We go ham on volume, even yes. if it needs that, you know, and kind of just really stock those bases, and that way we just want to use a heavy later. She has so much experience in the industry, and she is just like truly offloading so such a ch oh, big okay. chunk of well, sure. my responsibility that or what has been my responsibility for the last like since the inception of Alfleet. You need to find people when you're hiring that are better than you at what you are trying to do. Kirby, Melissa, Kevin. So, like, so these hires that have been coming in this year like, have really truly been allowing me to come back to you guys. That's the only way I'm able to do it or else I'd still be drowning. So I kind of went hiatus for 20, for 2020 for the last like eight months and to be sure I hired that I built the systems with HR and the workshops and really got quality time with those with them so I could build with them and really show them so that way when I go away AKA I'm still here but I'm focused on this and my videos and some shredding like that because I need to do that for myself and for y'all and um, yeah it's just it's, it feels good right now seeing this happen because that used to it was me like three months ago yo my bad man Hey, good to meet you, bro. Nice to meet good you. Good to meet you, man. I heard nothing but good, really good things from Nabil about you, bro. You're, la you're kind of taking a break from the, right? Your last yeah. video? Yeah. Man, you look fucking crazy, though. Jesus yeah. Christ. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Wild. Dude, this guy got to like 240. <laughs> 240? Yeah, yeah 20, 21? 21? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. You look like a fucking horse on stage. I remember those days. I mean, how far out are you? you said I'm 30 months. days. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm four, four, but you four push plus. Press hard. I'm like, sure. You're, you always go hard with like honey. Yeah, bro, and what's hurt my metabolism has been wild this year. So what, what is this? Is this just like your guys' this offices? Is, this and is stuff? Heck, exactly. These are like this is one of our. For example, these are all samples and shit that we're gonna get rid of. Yeah, all good. It's a crazy sample room. <laughs> yeah, bro. What's crazy is the amount of different like I mean, all, there's so many different fabrics fits. Uh, it's a clothing stuff, bro. A lot bro. of clothes. So clothing is tough, man. The problem that we had when we started out was that we were like reactively making drops. So we'd make a drop, it would sell out, and then we would make another drop, and then it would sell out. Yeah. Like we didn't really know what we were doing until like the past year, it kind of clicked. Like we have to stop dropping shit and 
make a bunch of stuff. So next time when we kind of restart, we can have consistent drops. We've got yeah. a bunch of drops ready to go. You know? Make a bunch, and, and even have it like deciding. Okay, these six items, these six styles are going to be the core. That, that'll be the foundational piece. It doesn't matter when they drop. We started like really heavy. Like our first drop went really good, and then we were sitting there like, okay, well. Like, what about the fuck are we going to do now? Because that's the, like, <laughs> that, those are the years where you have the most margin, bro. Because like, like, and I know it's like, oh, there's more money to be made. Yes, true. Yeah. There's also a lot of opportunity to overstock, a lot of opportunity to order the wrong, something that people don't learn, or yeah. defect or like. It's already happened. Yeah. yeah. It's all, it, it, it kind of goes like this and you're like, oh shit. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. wait, people don't actually like this style. Been, but we ordered a ton of it, but people fucking love this other style, yep. and we didn't order enough of it. And, and maybe they liked this style eight months ago. It must be hard keeping up with trends and stuff for you though, because you, you do it on such a big scale. Bro, like, I don't even try to keep up with trends. Yeah. Like, it's like that fast fashion type of thing. It, you have to be so quick. Yeah. And like, I'd rather so something stressful. come out and then we'll literally like, see you know be real nitpicky with the fabrics and stuff but take a while because we're yeah. not the first to market with a lot of the yeah. stuff but the quality will bring mm -hmm. and the fits are better mm -hmm. in my opinion that's like what alfie kind of yeah it after these are these are inventory getting organized to go out for athlete packs oh, yeah. so that's a lot of money for athletes yeah. to get Bro, <laughs> this is like our half our uh, warehouse. This is, this is nothing. No, I know, but I was thinking like, this is like tens of thousands of dollars just poof. You want to talk about poof? I mean, <laughs> taxes 2023 or 2022, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. That's a, that's poof. Hey, nice to meet you, Oliver. What's this? Just like a lounge? This is my office here. Oh, your office? My office, but Chelsea's running the shit, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you show, show him the back. Question, have you ever watched this TV? Have you ever what? watched it? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> not yet, not yet. Oh my god, bro. Uh, dude, this is like what my fucking fifth. This is wild, isn't it? And I always, this is the size of my old like apartment. Bro, I like to put my phone up there. I put some YouTube videos on. I can't, or I, I like get a life proof phone case, yeah. a waterproof one, and I'll literally just kind of like stand there and just start working. <laughs> And, be, and I'll be undisturbed, you know? I wish I was joking. I really take wish I was break. joking, bro. I, to me, that is a break. Isn't that sad? Is it not like super hard to combine all this shit with like prep and stuff? Uh, yeah, it's hard. It is. <laughs> what? You just said you just said he takes a break by doing work in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> when you're young, bro, and, and things are firing, and like you have people yeah. around you, and like you meet like business, and you get hyped, bro. It's like fuck, like this is going great. I can make money in these, all these different streams, right? And it's true, right? Especially like on social media, right? Yeah. But then. If you don't build the infrastructure for the first one, the problems occur where that one's not ready, but you've already loaded on new businesses, new, new commitments, mm -hmm. right? And that's exactly what happened in the last 10 years, bro. Committing to too many things that I should have waited a little bit longer yeah. to start. Yeah. Take one step at a time. Bro. One, it's like one, well, one thing is, but at the infrastructure, I can't like say it enough, like the work chart and shit. Yeah. People need to know who's their manager, who do they report to, what in like that, those managers are so ultra important, man. Like without you talking to the manager and just like really building them to what you want and being sure you're like listening to them. Like they need, I talk to now like eight to nine people a day and they have all teams, right? But before it was like at 28 direct reports, 28 managers talking to me, which that just needed a restructure of, we need more people underneath the best of the best person, the best of the, in kind of department, you know. Well, I've never slept here though. Never. Never slept here? No. You know, one time I fell asleep mid-workout in gym, because it was, the gym too was just like, it was, yeah. it was you know, a personal gym. Music blaring, I took pre, all this shit, and I hadn't slept in a bit, a few days. And, and like, I literally like, just like laid, I was stretching on the mobility on the roller, <laughs> and just, that was out, bro, for like 35 minutes. You're jet lagged, but I forced it. You're jet lagged? Bro. Oh, I know, you quit on me yesterday. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Go! 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 Three, two, one. Yeah, that's oh. good. Dude, that's hard, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be very honest now. My back is very sore. I'm saving, uh, yeah, I'm saving for the workout. Uh, I am a beast. Workout. I'm a pit bull off a leash. Come on. You can't come ah, Face a little you quick. weak. Bro, I'm too white for this. Let's see it, bro. Let's see it. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Move out of my way, I'm coming. On, this hand just kind of here. Okay. And you're not yeah. pushing with that hand, you're just yeah. holding your hand there. This was the hand that pushes it off, yeah. right? So you tuck the elbow tight, just okay. like you're doing a okay. like like elbow tight. Yeah. And then you shoot. I'm bringing the smoke to your house, get it sizzling. Better, better, better. 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 Oh, there it is. God. I beat his ass yesterday though. Right, Kev? With a little, huh? River gonna run me down. <laughs> no, competing, to me, well. competing grounds me. Like, like when I'm filming, I'm happy. Yeah. And usually when I'm filming, I'm competing. Or, do, or you know, documenting yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel like working out at all. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> You could give us one tip, because me and James have a clothing business as well, right? Yeah. We're we only like new starter. We're in the beginning stage. You're a year two. If y'all are down after this workout, we'll literally I want to go in the conference room, whiteboard, and I want to get y'all structure. I want like, I want to do something helpful for y'all. That's like the whole the whole my whole video today is gonna be like because I knew you guys own the business, yeah. right? Yeah. So I want you to ask me all these things. Yeah. I want to fucking help you out on the video. Showing showing two young fucks how to be successful. In hey. <laughs> That's the title. That's the title right there. Right there. They will come. What we're doing on this one, essentially the way we're pulling, instead of like a normal seated cable row, where you, I typically like to pull like really towards my belly button, keep the elbows tight and kind of go low. With this angle, with, by having the cable a little bit higher, we're able to just really almost lean in a little bit more, have the chest on the bench, and you're hitting a little bit more of the upper back and up, really upper lat as well as you're rolling in rear delt. It's a nice kind of change up with the standard seated cable. Come on, slow, come on. Uh, come on. Hey. Come on. Uh, go. Hold. Resist it. Resist it. Resist it. Let's go. Resist it. Resist it. Resist it. Resist it. Keep the up. Uh, <laughs> good. That was good, man. You got some big ass legs, bro. Jesus Christ. Wow, this is good. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh my God. That was like 20 minutes. <laughs> Like my ankle, look at the you have good cows, in bro. the ankle bro, thickness. Right. Look at that, bro. Oh, yeah. Look at bro, that. mine are stupid. They end look like, look, thing. they end like. Yeah, but bro, you, you actually have good calves. Yeah. Bro, how often do you train them? I mean, I need to start tanning. Well, if I get the third, 29 days is coming up, man. Isn't it wild? It just sneaks up. Bro, you're really tanned already, though. Yeah, you are. My you legs are, are white, though, huh? When I looked at my leg, I was like, holy shit, they're white. I actually think I used to follow your summer shredding series like four years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was like 17, 18, Macros I was like, yeah, let's get shredded for summer. The macros one one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times. It's yeah. all the same shit, but when you're But like when you're once, once you learn matters, macro. It, it do matter the food source, and it really does have an effect on the consistency on everything. It does. Yeah. But for 99.99% of people, yeah. that's why I preach macros over learning how to Mac do it. Pass, yeah. If you want to eat the same shit every day, by all means. Yeah. You know what I mean? Heidi. Wait, wait, feet or no feet? Uh, feet. Feet? Okay, okay. Go shoot. Do the, do the, do the, climb it up real quick. Yeah. I'll you off for a couple of seconds. Yeah. Did you just do that? Did you do it? I said you can do it quicker. Really? Yeah. Wait, what's the time? What's the time? How many seconds? Okay. You ready? Are we timing? Three, two, Let one. Let yourself go. Let's go. Two, three, four, five. How many seconds do you I want to see you can see how you Damn, Nine. Thanks, babe. Okay. Yeah. Come on, G. Let's go. Damn. Come on. Come on. That was quick. That was quick. That must have been like four and a half, man. Dude, I'm tired now, man. I swear. Hold on. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. That was so close. Holy shit. We have to side by side. Bro, that's like, that's a tie. That's gotta be that's a fucking a tie. tie. That's a tie. We're just side by side. Let yourself go. For 
no. Long time, right? <laughs> Ten years? Ten years. Yeah. But like, I probably done what, seven shows? Six or seven shows? Mm -hmm. But uh, this is my first time ever like, actually trying to go for the like, pro card. Yeah. I didn't know I qualified for the fucking national thing by winning the class. Awake all night. I need you awake all night. I need you awake all night. Plays the old, the old wise guy. With the new gen, right? yeah, gen like really old. Yeah, like yeah, six like, years difference. Imagine yeah. being like thirty. I know. <laughs> Thirteen months, he's closer to thirty than uh than twenty. Than 20. That's actually true. In th yeah, fourteen months, I'll be closer to thirty. That's crazy. Shit goes like quick. You're that's 21? a bad way of thinking about. Yeah, that. I'm twenty one, but I turned twenty two in like six weeks. Okay. Yeah. Damn, did you compete that long ago? It's already been a year. Yeah, it's been a year. Yeah. Damn, it's been you a year. Mean? You competed yeah. after me though. The reason. We, we've done podcasts before, James. First day yeah, meeting you all there. Yeah. Uh, and you guys are business partners with Viking, right? And, uh -huh. and you told me this probably a year and a half ago at this point. You uh, kind of walked me through just some of the problems you were having back then yeah. with like getting shit you know, in time and in season. Yeah. Or it's naturally just like problems with the clothing business, right? You guys have impressive numbers for your first year. Very impressive mm -hmm. in total sales. And then you have, I, I don't know if you guys want to share that or anything, but. I actually haven't mentioned this publicly, but like our first drop, we did 100K in sales in less than 10 minutes. I think it was like and eight, eight We did minutes. 127 in like seven minutes. Damn. You want your first draw? Yeah. Like, it was like, a, wasn't it? thousand? Yeah, it was 4,000 4, or 8,000. Yeah, probably. Four. I know, I think it was, I think it was eight. Yeah, could have been. Like total, total items, I think eight. Yeah. yeah. It was like eight colorways of a shirt. Like how many, how many? It was, style? so our first draw, so okay. We had our first like kind of trial drop. Mm -hmm. But that was actually this back was in, time, yeah, yeah was this was in 2020. Ago. And I don't really consider it the first drop because there was only 300 pieces and they sold out very quickly. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of like- You were at Athlete Gym at that point. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Were you? Yeah, and, and I like I packaged all those myself. I had them all oh, yeah, I on the ground. And he was so pissed that I was all the way over in Sweden. Yeah, yeah, he, partners, was in, right? he was in Sweden. He was already yeah, like, yeah, decided yeah, partners. Yeah, yeah. What made y'all want to partner? We, Dude, we were on yeah. a FaceTime call. No, we we're gonna, we we're gonna go to LA in 2020. Mm -hmm. Before COVID happened, so it's been business partners. Yeah, no, no, we were no, like, wait, let's wait. do some merch. No, yeah, yeah. So we we were gonna we were gonna go to. Sorry, I gotta take this over because this story. I fucking love this story, bro. <laughs> we were gonna. It was right before COVID happened, yeah. but like we didn't know because at this point COVID was like this thing kind of in the news. There's something over in China. It no one really thought about it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're talking in February. We were like, dude, we should move to LA together, you know, we can make a bunch of content there. And then we were like, we should drop merch while we're at it. And we can call it like, well, James and Oliver merch sounds really <laughs> bad. So like, maybe we can come up with just like a name for it. Cause it sounds and, better on paper. It sounds better. Yeah. 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 And, and I thought of like uh, something really successful, which is Kino body, which that doesn't actually mean anything, mm -hmm. right? Like the guy's name is Greg O'Gallagher, but his yeah, brand is Kino body. Yeah. But it doesn't actually, like, that word doesn't mean anything. So I was thinking of, like, we should come up with a brand name that doesn't connect with our names. Mm -hmm. Because, like, that is just super limiting. If we make our brand yeah. name based on our actual names, that's just, you, can all, you know? Yeah. So you guys just, you got to skip the merch part where it's like, because a lot of times, like, for me, for example, the, I started with CG Fitness, right? It's just, yeah. just like, that's what... That, that, that was our natural. Plan. That was yeah. the beginning. It's yeah. natural, like kind of easy. Okay, uh, whatever. I'll make a logo yeah. for my brand. A lot like Max Shooting, he did the same thing. That was kind of like mm -hmm. the thing back then. So you guys knew from experience with sponsors, maybe I'm assuming, because you guys were I athletes think, at that I time, think right? We both. Just we knew. still. I don't know. Yeah, but we still were kind stuff. of. It was a transition from like it was just going to be merch, and then it was going to be merch with a brand name, and then yeah, the next logical logo. step is like, Stupid. well, we got our brand name. It was actually. My mom helped come up with it because we were like just kind of throwing ideas around and I was giving her almost a mood board of like yeah. where we're young guys, we're vital, we have vitality and we're moving to LA, California and one thing, vitality, California, Vical. And it just like happened and I'm like, yeah, that, I, that rolls out the tongue pretty well, two syllables. Well, we might as well come up with a logo now. 
Yeah. So then we paid a graphic designer. We got a logo. How much did you pay? You know? It was 30 bucks. Bro, mine was 20 bucks. 20, 25 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Logo. Yeah. yeah. And then, so it's like, slowly it kind of just turns into a brand. Yeah. You, it was just going to be merch. And then it's like, well, I guess we kind of just have like a brand now. Yeah. Like we have a brand name and we have a logo. I'll put 50%, you put 50%, we'll do it together. Yeah, it split. was it was always 50-50. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It, yeah. that yeah. was never no like- No questions. Really. Yeah, there was never any questions yeah. about that. Did you guys sign a contract yet or no? Yeah, I think, yeah, we yeah, did yeah, now, but it wasn't until it's like, it wasn't, it wasn't until, until like, like six months ago. <laughs> no, it's good, it's good. <laughs> so we got 300 uh, stringers made and, but we were both with Gymshark at the time. Mm -hmm. And like, without getting into details about that, they were really iffy about it for, yeah. you know, for good reason. So they didn't allow it, but then I guess as fate would have it, they fired me shortly after anyway. Mm -hmm. So was, then- I, I, I don't remember this exactly, but was that due to, like because of Baikal or was it because of your political- It was a, it was a number of things. Yeah, I know I was pretty vocal about like politics yeah. and some of it was at odds with Gymshark and um, being open about gear. You know, I, I, that's what I remember the most, I think, was the well, open- I don't really at know. the time it was different. I remember like that. Yeah, that was, was like kind of the so, first wave. It was so like, right? yeah, the, it, yeah, yeah, and it was very, like, it's touchy. But I don't, I don't think any one of these things on their own would have been enough. But I think overall, all these things, they probably just looked at me and they were like, uh, "This is risky business." This guy, you yeah. know. Uh, you did the drop there. on your own because I was still with Gymshark. He was still with Gymshark. Oh, you're with Gymshark. Yeah. And he did the drop. They sold out pretty quick. Like, and then my contract was up three months after that. So when he came to Dubai, this was in- It was it was kind of was a hard this sell. 2019? This was, no, this was 2020. It must've been 2019. Yeah. No, it was, no 2020. Yeah, it was 2020. It was 2020. Yeah. And it was kind of a bit of a hard sell because Oliver like could have re-signed with Gymshark mm -hmm. and to convince someone who was maybe 18 money. years old at the time yeah. to maybe. leave Gymshark yeah. at this like, point. That's hard. Yeah. On, on, a, on a fucking pipe dream basically. Yeah. Like, yo, leave and let's, let's focus do on. all this work. Let's put it all on us. Let, yeah. Let's start from scratch. And it was like my main income at the time. Yeah. So basically just- You said yes? Yeah, essentially. It, he was, it was iffy, Damn, but eventually that. like, yeah, he came around and he's like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it, I'm leaving. I'm like, yeah. Damn. <laughs> we got a little bit of money from this drop. Let's put it all back in and let's order like a shit ton of clothes this time. And we wanted to design shorts, hoodies that make sense and tees. What was the and hardest realization that happened then? Like throughout that? How long manufacturing and sampling takes. Yeah. It's yeah. not just like you snap that's fingers. That's still up to this day. Yeah. Yeah. When you say that's our biggest problem right now. Yes, if we had someone like living in our house, they could like sew this shit and like they just work 24 seven and, and like we could, we could make stuff so fast, yeah. but it's the fact that you have an idea and then going from the idea to actually putting on a paper, getting tech packs, that's its own thing. But then the biggest part is like getting samples. Yeah. Every company does manufacturing overseas. Very few do manufacturing in the US. So then you have to wait for samples, customs, blah, blah, blah. Then modify samples. And you guys are modifying modify. samples, right? Because yeah. for, for the for anyone who's starting a business, like the way and how'd you find your manufacturer? Let me ask you that, because like um, that's a huge thing. The first the one first. was through a connection that Oliver had. Mm -hmm. We realized right away after that 300 mini drop, we were like, okay, we need like a real manufacturer now. Mm -hmm. So that's when I would say it kind of depends on who on because like there's so many there's so many there's good terrible great people on Alibaba. Right. But yeah. like this, I, I always I DM like 10 or met the end. I email 10 yeah. and then whoever I kind of trimmed it down like okay if these five say two didn't respond yeah I obviously fuck them mm -hmm. hey, whoever got back the quickest and the most like well written spoken way well yeah, spoken yeah, yeah. and just like I need this 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 the most concise then I, I picked the top three yeah and I just and then I realized all right, I'm just gonna do these three and initiate mm -hmm. the process with that yeah I mean we reached out at like four maybe four or five and there was like two that seemed viable and then we, we picked the one that was better as time went on like we have new manufacturers that like they're even way better than that yeah. right so is that quality is better with that or yes. is, it, is it communication better? communication, communication is, is really communication is like hard yeah it's hard mm -hmm. and if you don't have a good one it's yeah because there's different hard. there's different levels to language barriers this probably isn't a problem on your level because they're always going to give you top priority but for a company like us that is a problem which is um how what priority we have with them yeah. and how much effort they give us yeah. because there's some manufacturers that it's like Responses a take order. a day yeah. rather than with you. They might take like 10 minutes because mm -hmm. they're like, oh, Christian texted us. We got to respond. Mm -hmm. But with us, it's like, oh, yeah, they texted us. We'll get back to them when we get back to them, mm -hmm. you know? So what one thing that I've done and in, in really implementing to teach my team now, it's every single product that I that I order, it needs to have, I need to, when I'm ordering it, say, okay, the lifespan of this product, what I want this product to last on the site, 
say it's a, it's a, a men's t-shirt that's like a staple, but it, like I, it actually it's not a staple, it's a sick piece, like something like this one. The, mm-hmm. the, it's got yellow, it's got a page of the print, more unique. I want black to last me on the site six months. Mm-hmm. Really, I would say 12 months because you want to hit a sale for Black Friday and have higher inventory and sell through. You'll be able to make more money that way, 12 months for black, but say if you have five colors, the second and third place best color, I want that to sell out in about 45 days. Yeah. Right? And then the next two colors, you want one or two colors to sell out in, say, a week, and I want one color to sell out in like literally a day. Mm-hmm. Right? So you're kind of assigning, you're getting a mix of the hype with some pieces, some colors, or you can even do that with styles. You, you want the tank to sell out super quick, you want the short sleeve, and you can kind of start manipulating what's going to be the most sought after piece. Yeah. Does that make sense? Because you, you need to sell shit. Yeah, like, cer- like certain colors, you get less stock and then there's more hype. Exactly. And, and if you plan the right inventory, to eat, like never just order 500 of each color. Oh yeah, no. Right? You're, you're, you're constantly That's, walking it, that. That was, that was hard when we first started because yeah. it's hard to know. What's like there's, there, you have ideas. Okay, people are going to like. And sizing as well. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's a constant, every launch yeah. we change our size split for every top, bottom, women's bra, women's everything. Really? with new data and it's different in the uk it's different in oh really in us it's different everywhere do you keep track on whatever sells out the quickest to then order more of that color as the next hour? i'm a psycho bro yeah. like I, I used to have this i made a spreadsheet back in the first few years and it's just me yeah. like, literally on five minutes into the launch so we launch at 12 yeah. at 1205 you can export boom export and literally write down okay i sold this many this many this many then you in 15 minutes you refresh it out of this many, so I sold four yeah. percent in five minutes, twenty five percent in, the, and you can see that, and you track that and for literally six months colors. to a year. Yeah. So you're able to see like your whole site. I made that for you, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How many employees do you have now? Are they full time? Are they like contracted? I guess they're contracted, but I wouldn't say they're full time. No. But um, what? Okay, so what happened was, and you can probably pick this apart. But what happened was like I got with a management company that was managing my own content, mm-hmm. but then I realized. They, you know, I brought up the idea of them working with Baikal because I was like, you know, actually I'm pretty good at doing my own content and they still, you know, help out with certain stuff, but I really didn't want them to be as overseeing as they wanted to be Mm. um, with my own content. But with Baikal, that's like exactly what I needed. Mm. And they obviously have a tiered company. So like the guy who owns that management company doesn't really look at Baikal, but the person they have like assigned to, to us is actually working very often and staying yeah. up late and taking FaceTime calls and Zoom calls with manufacturers Basically and full stuff. Time. Yeah. And you pay, and you pay, so you pay a, a monthly retainer to this company, yeah. Yeah, like a person, that person it's, shops. It, it, it's a versus deal. So it's a, it's a monthly amount versus a percentage of, of net profit, but they have agreed because they actually do, they really like the company and they believe in it long term. So they've agreed to not do the percentage, the versus deal for now. So they're just taking their flat rate and even if we have like a really good month, they'll still only take their flat rate for like the next couple of years nice. until we're really yeah. rolling and then they can start to take, you know, the- Are you the getting some end of month reports of like what, what was done from there and that- Yeah, yeah. Month? And like they, I know this sounds bad, but we were in the red by a little bit every quarter up until we brought them on mm-hmm. because we just, we're good, we're strong, good yeah. with ideas and we're good with clothes and that kind of stuff. But with like just strategizing and numbers, we really needed some people who like knew what they were doing yeah. to kind of guide us in the right direction. And that was really all it took. And like, once that happened, it was we, kind of like we, a we said, went green, yeah. like immediately, yeah. you know, for the quarter. Yeah. So we, we, we would have months where we were green, yeah. obviously, but then we would just reinvest all the money and we were just making stupid mistakes that every company makes at the beginning. We were paying certain people too much and we were just stupid, like, um, stupid costs that didn't need to be there. Yeah. And they were the ones who came in and they like looked at it and it's, you know, like, it's like a parent looking at their kid's room and it's just a complete mess. 100%. And they're like, oh, yeah. you clean this up, clean this up, clean this up. And I'm That's like, right. honestly, just like listening to you is more helpful than you probably think. Yeah, yeah. Just 100%. you talking about like, even something as, as minor as like uh, showing us how you order samples. It's like, why didn't I think of that before? Mm. Why would I order one sample? And then make adjustments and then order one more yeah. sample. I should Bigger, order more you can get all that kind of adjustments. Yeah. 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 And then you get better price and you have more you have more power negotiate and never ever just do one factory, bro. Yeah. It'll cost it'll cost you some more up front to, if you need to like cause it, you can't always just do you, like, do you sample the same item from different factories? Yeah, that's what we've been doing. Because it's kind of yeah, like, okay, who gets 
and not not only which quality is better, better yeah, 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 but it's also um, who which 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 manufacturer has like better intuitive sense of what we're asking. Yeah, because that saves us time and a headache. A hundred, you know, because we ordered we ordered like this compression tee, kind of like we wanted to do like this Onyx style, like well, like what Gymshark used to have mm-hmm. with the Onyx, and we wanted something similar t- to that. Um, <laughs> and we got a tech pack done, but we didn't have a reference sample that we could send to them. That's a huge so, reference. Sample. Yeah, so uh, like, you you know, they stopped making everything. Onyx a long time ago, yeah. and this was before Young LA dropped like compression stuff. So there really was nothing for us to go off of. So we were just like. We both knew what we were talking about, but yeah. they didn't know, and they sent us back these shittiest. <laughs> like I laughed at it, bro. We were I was sending I videos. How does I be ahead of this sound? Yeah, I was like, like, hopefully okay. it's close. Like hopefully they yeah. get the idea. But the, we got the money refunded for that sample because we were like, this is <laughs> this is really. If it makes you feel better. That literally that same thing still happens today for us. And like yeah. I, I I just told you, oh, just don't just rely on one factory. But at a certain point, it's like you kind of build the confidence with yeah. uh, you know with one for specific things. So you kind of assume they're gonna be able to have some more, you know, and they, mm-hmm. they say they can. Yeah. And then literally months have gone by and it's like, hey, we never, remember that reference we sent you? <laughs> that thousand dollar reference? We're still trying to source the it's like, it's like, yeah, we're, we're sourcing, it's like, yeah, but that's meant to happen in the collection that it's not gonna hit the timeline. <laughs> yeah. And then you finally get something or you get an answer, you know what, hey, Chris, we, we actually can't, we can't do, we can't do the this, 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 this. He goes, then what the fuck actually six months for? Yeah, okay, that's fun. We'll wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, this is the end of the video. Yeah, end of the video. Thank you guys. Check these channels out. We're still watching. Links, links in the description. Check out Vical. Launch Thank coming. You. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just new colors. Yeah. What what is happening? Uh, later, uh, two like next week. Yeah. Next week. Yeah. 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 How was that? How was how was that? That was so cool, wasn't it? Yeah. What did that yeah. make you feel like? Any memories come to? Oh my gosh, yeah. I was just thinking like, oh, I remember looking for manufacturers and going through like the first sample stages and getting like the worst samples ever. But honestly, still. And like happens. waiting for them to come and just be perfect, right? Like, yeah. All like those the feelings. Excitement you get, and then revisions on the products. And they love that you can tell like they're, they're, pit, they're nitpicky and they love it. Do I just want to like give any advice you can to like save them some yeah. more hassle? Like I like how picky and passionate they are. Yeah, picky and passionate. There you go. Who's more picky, you or me? Mm, we're I both say, I think picky. We're, we're both really picky. We are. I felt bad for my, my girl today. I was like ripping things apart in a good way. I was like, no, 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 no. Never settle. Oh, a little, yep. Yeah. Never settle. Wait till you get the one you want and then it'll do what you want it to do. Oh, you